conducted by uh, Vinayada. Vinayada. Uh, I don't know if um, you are ready to share your screen with us uh, for the uh, participants. Yes, yes, I'm ready. Okay. So, uh, well, all participants will have a four minutes uh, time presentation. Once uh, you finish, uh, I'm going to open um, breakout rooms so we can decide uh, where to go. We can visit all the breakout rooms. Just uh, be sure to see the name of the presenter, click on the link on his or her name, and then you can um, access to the workout uh, room. So you can listen and have um, conversation, questions, comments, <clears throat> and you can visit many as you want, okay? So um, once you are uh, ready, please, let's start. Please, please, uh, just one consideration. Once you leave the, <clears throat> the breakout rooms, just uh, click on the uh, leaving the room. Don't leave the, the meeting because otherwise you will be out of the, um, the, the platform. Don't worry, you can come back without any problem, but just in case, try to avoid to click on that um, button, okay? So let's start, if you are ready, with the four minute presentation, please. Thank you, oh, and now I would like to invite my teacher researchers. Uh, so we are all from the India and Telangana stage. So most of our teachers are working in the government sector. So all of them are working in the schools. So today's my teacher researchers are the first one is the Vasundara ma'am from Jagityal Telangana. And the second one is Anita ma'am from Indranagar, uh, Telangana. And the third one is Ajat Chandrasekhar. He's uh, from Telangana, Mahabub Baba. And the fourth one, the last one is the Aruna Devi from Manchiral, Telangana. Now I would like to invite the Vasundara ma'am. Are you there, ma'am? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, sir. Hello, everyone. I am Vasundara. I am from Jaityal district of uh, Telangana. And uh, today I, I want to present uh, my exploratory action research process and uh, thesis. And this is my poster. And uh, I would like to, first of all, thank Elta and uh, my mentor, Vineda sir, for uh, giving all the support. And uh, now coming to the exploratory action research question, my question is, what are the best techniques to encourage and support the students who lag behind uh, in acquiring writing skills? As teachers, we came across uh, various types of students. And uh, most of the students uh, whom I observed, I felt that some of the students are very good in interactive way in response, giving response in the classroom. But at the same time, they are uh, not able to give good response while uh, in a writing skill. As our education system demands the written evidences, they are not able to do that and uh, they feel inferior. So that is the uh, uh, question that I have uh, selected. And uh, I selected the tools as conversation with teachers. And uh, I informally interviewed students. And I prepared a questionnaire for both teachers and students individually. And then uh, taking that information, I analyzed the data. And then I came to certain conclusions. And I made some observations. And my observations are, students are not able to uh, come up with the writing skill because of lack of suitable situational vocabulary. And they are not able to structure their ideas effectively. The difficulty with sentence structure and word order, and mostly because of the mother tongue influence, lack of writing skills, lack of continuous guidance, editing, and supportive feedback, and phobia, IQ levels and not having the language environment. So uh, after all these observations, I made an action plan 
uh, I wanted to uh, do something. For that, I assigned simple writing tasks and I provided the suitable vocabulary in the form of a word pool so that the students feel motivated to write something and give uh, freedom to students to come out with their own ideas. And then and there, I used to, uh, I just uh, gave the positive feedback and motivated them for the next task. And I also uh, prepared a list of uh, steps which I want to follow in uh, uh, while uh, doing this process and by improving speaking and also by giving dictation and immediate positive feedback, giving topics in their experiential level and comfort and encourage writing using graphic organizers and provide apt vocabulary make them frame sentences and edit frequently and encourage them to write without worry about mistakes. And I have selected seventh class for this purpose and there are 15 students. And to my surprise, for uh, three months, I have carried out this process and I came to the conclusion that uh, five students who were below average previously now became average and they were not worried about the mistakes and the 10 students are now above average and i feel very happy to share that now i feel very close to my students and i'm trying to explore more and they too feel the same thank you very much sir for giving me this chance and thank you ma'am Thank you. Thank you, Vasundara, ma'am. Very concise and big time. Thank you for this, your wonderful presentation. Now I'd like to invite our next presenter, Anita, ma'am. Are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm here. So, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Anita from Telangana. So, my, sir, could you share my screen? Okay, ma'am, go ahead. Yes, sir. Um, can you zoom in? Right. So, uh, my my topic is effective techniques to improve students. Uh, my students spoke, speaking skills in English. So, for that, uh, my research question is effective techniques. How to develop eff effective techniques or strategies to improve my students' uh, speaking skills in English? So, my target group is. Uh, um, ninth class and 30 to 35 students. So um, I, actually I want to, most, uh, most of my students can't uh, uh, communicate in English. Uh, so that is um, uh, my worry. And I want to find out why my students do not uh, respond in English and to find uh, the effective techniques to improve uh, my students speaking skills in English. So for that, I selected data and I, I collected data uh, uh, through Google Forms uh, uh, via questionnaires, student questionnaires uh, from their opinions and uh, teachers uh, questionnaire also. And my TLP video to assess myself, uh, how, where is the gap? So uh, from all these uh, data, I analyzed it and uh, uh, came to know that I have to um, change uh, the strategy what I'm dealing with now, the pre in present. So for that, I have taken and I, I concluded that so activity-based uh, uh, TLP must be there in my TLP session. So for that, uh, and uh, I started uh, activities, uh, talk about the favorite person's place and all the, all the things. And uh, gradually I increased the level of activities and the picture interaction. And after that, CCQs and uh, after that, ICQs and uh, uh, after that, uh, after that, now we are um, we are in our classroom. We are uh, going with uh, you can see in my uh, my TLP session, um, uh, students are coming forward and interacting with uh, uh, some activities like uh, uh, some role plays, uh, picture talks, and narrating their daily experiences, and uh, they are debating also. 
so the process is uh, now going on and uh, i'm taking all these things uh, from textbook because they are from ninth grade so i introduced all these things uh, from uh, all activities from my textbook it, uh, content itself so thank you elta and thank you vinay dev sir especially because he motivated me and thank you all the dignitaries here uh, who gathered here thank you so much everyone thank you thank you anta ma'am wonderful very thank brief you. good good going now i would like to invite uh, ajab are you there ajab ajab chandrashekhar yes sir okay okay go ahead yeah, yeah could you please may i share my screen yeah i will share you cannot share yeah flamant evening to everyone i am chandrashekhar azad working as a teacher of english at jet uh, pesini gurti uh, from india it's a great opportunity for me to share my exploratory action research project uh, at the beginning uh, the problem of my student is unable to speak before the teachers uh, before the students are any time whenever they get opportunity they are unable to speak they would like to speak only in uh, mother tongue uh, i have recently transferred to that school so i would like to teach something or uh, i would like to improve their speaking skills so that one i have uh, Uh, prepared a question now uh, my question of research is what are the innovative strategies needed to improve spoken skills among the high school students so generally in our uh, uh, locality the people unable to speak uh, fluently or uh, speak at least because lack of uh, environment lack of uh, uh, confidence lack of uh, motivation and fear hesitation those all things in uh, stop there to come forward and speak so for that one i have taken the few questions of exploratory why my high school students are unable to speak and what are the innovative strategies i have to take so for that one i have uh, conceived a free uh, three specialized tools for it to collect the data from them and conduct the pre test and posted uh, through whatsapp the, those are the tools are my uh, attitude scale questionnaire to the teacher and student and even i have conducted interviews i have taken a sample of uh, Uh, students 17 and teachers also 17 uh, then after i have uh, drawn few uh, i did my data analysis and uh, find it some conclusions about that uh, the students are unable to speak just because of uh, uh, the lack of motivation first of all and the uh, next thing is in um, uh, environment they do not have and uh, not only that one the lack of fear if they commit mistakes other people will laugh at them so that is the major problem for them so yeah, when i conducted a, a, a test uh, uh, i sent a questionnaire to the teachers they have said the same things they have uh, the students will face the issues like that so what, for that one they said that uh, normal methods like uh, you need to adapt the new strategies like uh, you know uh, role plays and uh, uh, jam activities such things but i would like to go beyond that i want to take uh, other strategies uh not unlike the previous ones the already we have been adopting for many years so that when i have taken fluency skills and uh, uh running dictation and information gap activities and dicks activities those all helped us a lot and now the children have started active participation without any inhibitions without any hesitation without any fear they are ready to speak uh, the amusement thing is you know the students Uh, always love to ask me sir when you are coming when you are going to conduct that kind of activities so i am now they are enjoying the fruits of that uh, the, the activities that recently i have been conducting with the help of these strategies thank you so much for giving me such a wonderful opportunity thank you my mentor and super mentor vinidhar raju and uh, tv tv ankresh rao sir for giving me a wonderful opportunity thank you alta to become a part of this amazing program thank you thank you thank you, thank you goa you are using a, a very innovative strategies and activities so please go ahead thanks sir keep it up mm, uh, my next presentation is uh, next one aruna ma'am are you there yeah aruna ma'am okay. 
Aruna ma'am. Hello. Hello right, sir. Yeah. Could you share my poster sir? Yeah, sure. Yes, thank you. Yes. Yes, uh, this one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. A warm good evening and good afternoon or good morning to all the dignitaries, super mentors, mentors, and teacher researchers across the world. And my special greetings to uh, Asli Saglam, Madam, and uh, Richard Smith, sir. And uh, well, uh, this is Aruna Devi working as English teacher at uh, Government Ashram High School, Manchurian, uh, from Telangana State, India. And my school is a tribal welfare school. Uh, I mean, most of my students are from different tribal communities like Goons, Koyas, Lambadas, Pradhans, Erkalas, uh, Mannevar, etc., etc. They are really underprivileged and deprived from education and even from nutritious food. Uh, so our schools provide uh, them good education and nutritious food as well. And uh, coming to my journey in EAR, e -A -R, Exploratory Action Research. So my journey was started during the pandemic uh, when I was asked to take part in exploratory action research in the last December, I thought a lot and, and inquired a lot and what on what classroom issue I have to work on because there are many issues. And what I observed, my students' mother tongue is their own tribal language like this speak Gundi, Koya, Lambada in school premises. And not only English, Telugu is also, which is our state language, uh, is a foreign language to them, but they speak Telugu fluently as they have much exposure to it. As uh, they, as uh, ours is also a Telugu medium school, and to my surprise, my students got easily attracted uh, to my English class. So, to some extent, I am successful in creating interest in learning English language. Uh, they speak English. In our school premises, they love to speak in English, but their speaking ability is low. And my colleagues also observed their speaking levels in their uh, concerned classes and told me that uh, uh, they, are, they, <clears throat> they are speaking with less fluency and with less accuracy. And so I wish to know and understand their difficulties in English fluency first. And, they, and then my research question was decided as, so what are the different strategies and uh, different uh, or different methods should I follow to, in, to improve English fluency in my students. I have taken eighth and ninth grade students for this research. Uh, then I collected data from my students and my colleagues as well to explore more on this. So what did my colleagues say that our students speak only words, not sentences. Uh, they are unable to frame simple sentences, simple phrases, uh, no subject verb agreement, etc. With this, I uh, came to conclusion that the reason behind this weakness is difficulty in connecting the words with linkers, helping verbs, and lack of vocabulary, pronunciation, etc. And coming to plan of our action, I thought to implement different different strategies, but mostly I focused on simple conversations and role plays. I have given them a real life situational conversations like, "What do you uh, do? What do you talk to your friend when if she visit?" Uh, if she visits your home, what do you talk to the shopkeeper or vegetable vendors if you go to the market? And recently, I have converted one of my textbook lessons into a play and asked them to act. And the outcome was really, really incredible. During the pandemic, I didn't get a chance to interact with my students uh, to do action phase. Since our schools are hostel connected, our schools uh, reopened. Uh, during the last month of uh, October and students started coming to school really after Diwali. Hello. 
You are muted. Can you unmute yourself, please? We can't hear you now. Now is it okay, ma'am? Ah, uh, yeah, fine. Yes. It's fine. Okay, since our uh, schools are hostel connected, our schools reopened in the last month of October and our uh, students started coming to school after Diwali. So then uh, our dear Vinay sir contacted, contacted me to con and asked me to continue the research. I'm so, so thankful to Vinay sir and still my action phase is going on. As soon as I started the action phase, my students are eagerly waiting for my for my class to do role play, conversation, uh, skit, uh, drama, etc. Whenever they are uh, free, uh, they are coming to me and taking me to their classes and uh, give us uh, give them a role play or conversation or tell them a story or act in a drama, etc., etc. And uh, so, what I realized by this research is teaching is a continuous process of learning. That is how to improve ourselves and then learning how to improve others. So. Whatever students have problems in learning, it's not due to their uh, inability, rather we miss, we might have missed some strategies or stage of teaching. This research is being transformed me and my teaching methods mostly. Uh, I'm exploring myself as a teacher and my students as well. Uh, thank you all for giving me this amazing platform. Thank you one and all. Thank you once again. Thank you, thank you Anna ma'am. Keep up good work. Bye. <laughs> Completed in time, sir. Yeah. yeah. So yes. we have taken it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for all the presenters. I don't know if uh, the mentor wants to comment something else. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to uh, open uh, the the rooms. Uh, you can see. Um, and the names of the presenters. Uh, and then I repeat, you can click on the name, visit the room, you can interact, ask, ask questions, comments, suggestions. And well, anytime, at any time you feel free to uh, leave the breakout room, visit another presenter, and then have as much interaction as you can, okay? So uh, please uh, remember, select the room that you uh, want to visit. Presenters, please uh, be ready to enter to your own room. <laughs> and well, we can uh, start uh, visiting the breakout rooms, please. Aruna, if you uh, entered, oh. <laughs> hello, Ashley. <laughs> Hi, and if you need help about how to go and visit, uh, we can do that. And if you want us, uh, we can also assign you to a room if you tell us the room number. So the presenters are waiting for you in the rooms. Okay. Please join them. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello everyone and welcome back to the main room. I feel so glad and happy to hear many of you. Great presentations, congratulations. I, I have seen a lot of, uh, not just teacher researchers, but humans who are motivated working under different and diverse circumstances with and without too much support. But I think we all have a lot to share now because we feel we have to feel proud. Yeah, we we have a great profession. I see many of you are working more uh, with uh, tools with your hearts, and I think this is fantastic. Congratulations from my heart. But well, we are um, almost arriving to this moment to wrap up uh, our presentations. 
First of all, uh, we would like to hear the presenters, the mentor, if you want, yes, uh, giving us your reflections, yes, about uh, these um, breakout rooms, conversations, the questions, the interactions that you have. Would you like to share with us how do you feel, uh, what has been uh, your experience today, something you want to uh, comment with us? Uh, if you want, we can start um, uh, with, well, I don't know if the mentor wants to start uh, in Ayada, or we can start directly with uh, Basundara. <clears throat> Please tell us. Basundara, ma'am? Uh, Basundara, yes. Right. Yeah, Sherry. I'm ready. Okay, sir. Uh, well, uh, thank you everyone for your uh, uh, all the positive feedback and everything. And uh, I feel extremely happy today to be a part of this program. And uh, in the breakout rooms, the questions which were asked, it was it was just like multidimensional. Like uh, what were the results I got and uh, what strategies I applied and uh, uh, what were the, uh, and very interesting question was, what were the surprising moments I faced uh, while doing the research and uh, had a very pleasant talk with uh, even Marisol ma'am, Neela ma'am, so many uh, uh, visitors who came to my room and it was so nice ma'am. Uh, it was just like exploring my journey again and uh, sharing my ideas. And uh, I fall short of words to express my gratitude. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a great pleasure. Thank you. OK, Anita, would you like to share with us um, your experience in the breakout room, please? Ah, your microphone, Anita, could you please Open your microphone. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, yes, you ma'am. Thank you. Uh, so, hello, everyone, again. Uh, ma'am, uh, today I learned so many things uh, when uh, my co presenters, especially, especially Vasunda, ma'am, Azad, sir, and Aruna, ma'am. So, they are doing uh, different, different activities to motivate their children and uh, involving their children. So I learned so many things from the presentations. And uh, it, when it comes to breakout rooms, all the uh, participants, uh, those, in, uh, those who were interacted with me, so they said, uh, yes, ma'am, uh, especially Salome, ma'am, uh, asked me, so is there any difference uh, between, so uh, what difference you are seeing after and before? So for that, uh, really, it is nothing but uh, reflecting ourselves. Uh, so I feel I can assess myself because uh, traditional, uh, we shifted from traditional teaching to some somehow an innovative way. We are searching, I'm searching the different way uh, to reach my students. So uh, I, I felt that I'm updating myself. So uh, that uh, uh, that has given me a strength, and Vinayda sir has uh, given valuable suggestions, and uh, uh, he said that uh, it's a journey. Really, it's a journey for a teacher. It's a journey. We have to search uh, all the things according to the needs of ch children, not our needs. So we have to update. So uh, I learned, uh, so they have all the participants get, uh, have given me the positive uh, feedback and uh, I learned so many things from them. And uh, uh, Kanti Ma'am asked one, uh, one question. It is related to psychological aspect. Uh, and uh, uh, so I, I said, we introduced some, some techniques, some strategies, and uh, we introduced well-being sessions in lockdown session. So uh, I said, um, I shared our experiences, uh, what uh, happened in lockdown period. Uh, so she felt very happy, and uh, she uh, is ready to uh, visit our school also. So it's a, a very happy, a thing uh, for me because I can hear 
uh, the success story of uh, her school so we can interact directly so thank you ma'am thank you and from you also i learned so many things because how could be a teacher of um, a 21st century teacher how a teacher should be so all the things i learned uh, from today's session thank you ma'am thank you everyone thank you elta for attending thank, thank you thank you anita thank you very much and you have commented very important aspects yeah because uh, not just the professional and the cognitive side has been uh, encouraged today, but the emotional one, the psychological one. We are humans. We need to take these um, complements that are integral to our development. And you say the word, we are all in a journey, learning every day. The opportunities that Action Research provides us are fantastic. And I think... Uh, we all are experimenting and sharing this great, great, great uh, bless of being teachers who love teaching. Thank you, Anita. Thank you very much. Okay, Asad, uh, if you are so kind to share with us your experiences today, uh, in general and in the breakout rooms, please. Uh, thank you, Koa. It's my immense pleasure to be part of this amazing program. Uh, first of all, I would like to show my deepest gratitude to Mr. Vinayadar Raju, who is initiated, uh, always uh, asking, uh, asked me to do and uh, uh, complete the task. I mean, uh, whichever the timeline is there, I need to have to finish it. That So he always encouraged me to do. And uh, now within the breakout rooms, I, I have enjoyed because I, uh, I got many questions from our different participants. And uh, I feel uh, very proud that many people have congratulated me. So I feel that these are the, the innovative strategies. Uh, I got, I mean, I become a successful person uh, to share my experiences under the action research. And uh, many people have taken, uh, gained the knowledge about these, uh, uh, especially about the fluency circles and the jigs activities, information gap activities, and running dictations. Uh, and uh, another thing I helped me that and what I have to and, uh, think about the next. Uh, uh, I mean, next action research, even I'm ready to, I'm preparing for the future action research also, now itself. So thank you for wonderfully for giving me such a great opportunity. And thank you everybody and the whole team. Uh, thank you, Viva Richards, uh, who has uh, made such kind of amazing program. Thank you, thank you and all. <laughs> thank you. <clears throat> thank you, Asad. Yes, you both have had the opportunity of also connecting with other teachers. Yeah, those uh, yes. visits and reflection about the future are important. Yeah, because now what? <laughs> what can we do? Yeah, what next? Well, what's next? What? Thank you. Thank you. Um, Aruna, uh, uh, could you like to share with us your experience, please? Once again, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, 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 Aruna. We can hear you well. Yes. Uh, really, it's an incredible experience to me on this uh, platform, interacting uh, world-level teacher researchers and other dignitaries. Uh, really, it's a wonderful experience to me. And I had good interaction with uh, uh, Marisol, ma'am, and uh, Kavita, ma'am, Radha Kishan, sir, Raj Kamalakar, sir. Uh, Kranti ma'am and Neela Madhavi ma'am. So oh, all of them admired my hard work, uh, my research questions and my research topic. And uh, Marisol ma'am asked me what were the challenges uh, you have faced uh, during this uh, pandemic and how could you reach your uh, students. Uh, and uh, Kranti ma'am asked me what are your surprising uh, 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 moments during this research and Radha Kishan sir interacted me. Uh, about this, your point is good. A learning process is a continuous process. How oh, to improve ourselves and we improve others uh, during this learning process. And Raj Kamala Sarkar Sar also appreciated my uh, videos. And uh, next, uh, Neela Madhuri, ma'am. Uh, really good interaction with uh, Neela Madhuri, ma'am. And uh, <clears throat> she admired me that I am giving good service. Uh, definitely. Uh, you will be remembered. Uh, you're doing good service to your uh, uh, backward students. 
and thank you neela madhavi ma'am and uh, during this with, with this research i have learned many things uh, i have faced many challenges i explored myself as a teacher and uh, how to move with students and how to move with colleagues and uh, how to uh, uh, go with innovative strategies and what strategies should work on with students and uh, during this process i have learned the technical tools also online educational tools it changed me a lot and uh, thank you for uh, vinayda raju sir especially for contacting me is uh, to continue this project otherwise i would have uh, don't know what to say but thank you very much vinayda raju sir and thank you elta for giving us this beautiful wonderful and memorable opportunity memorable platform this one for us thank you very much <laughs> thank you aruna thank you very much uh, for your enthusiasm and sharing with us all these things that you have learned as we as all of us and yes as you said correctly um, the effort of mentors here uh, that support us to keep uh, researching being a teacher researcher is not easy because with teaching we have enough but also researching we can improve a lot and as you said uh, sometimes we don't know uh, ourselves as teachers and research give us the opportunity to explore more of our capacities that are there and we can explode as well as many other skills thank you thank you very much aruna and well it's time thank to you, listen Ma. to thank you thank you it's time to listen to your mentor yeah because i i am sure he's so proud of all of you and a great effort great work keep motivating you is is also uh, something that we need to recognize so uh, please uh, binar yada could you like to share uh, with us your experience thank you all uh, it's a good work and so the most of the uh, teacher researchers they are afraid to present at international conference but it has proved <laughs> that uh, they did well so i always mention that it's a journey don't worry about that doing things is more important than uh, thinking about the failures and the success so as a human beings we always if you do the things you will become a perfect in that this is the one message that i want to give everyone and once again i congratulate the entire team and keep up the good work thank you all the organizers thank you all <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you very much and uh, uh, yes of course um, it's a journey it's a journey that sometimes is hard to follow because of our activities but this i think the biggest satisfaction for all of us thank you very much i, I would uh, say it is worth the time worth the efforts yes yes you're right it, we need to recognize the effort the work the enthusiasm yes uh, dr nila it's it's amazing it's a pleasure it's a pleasure for all of us to share this moment thank you very much uh, i think uh, we have had an, a very enrichful and fruitful morning well morning in mexico evening there in india <laughs> and well Uh, Ashley, if we don't have any other thing, I think we can uh, thank you very much um, for this uh, third segment <clears throat> of the day. And we are concluding. Big applause for all of you. Big hug from Mexico. Congratulations. See you in the following section. Bye bye. <laughs> thank you very much, Ashley. You. You're so warm. You're so good. You thank too. You. Thank you all. Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> I've been watching your watching you your uh, presentations, your programs. Yes. So thank good. you so very much. Great to be with you. Uh, and I hope to see you uh, this afternoon and tomorrow as well. Bye bye. Thanks a lot. You did great. Bye -bye. Thank you, man. Thank you. Let's